Australian natural health company Blackmores has operated in Thailand for 30 years and is number one in this market. Blackmores has built a successful brand and a loyal consumer base, despite political ups and downs. Let's visit its biggest office in Asia, right here in Bangkok. So why was Thailand chosen as the first market in Asia for Blackmores? Thailand is the first market because, you know, Thai people love Australian products. And uh, Thai people is also really, you know, concerned about the health of us. Are foreign brands highly regarded here? Yes, indeed, because uh, Thai people also regard in terms of, you know, uh, the high quality and also, you know, the safety of the product. So most of the multinational brand is uh, very highly regarded here. So how are Thai customers unique? Uh, we are um, the person who really want to be educated. We want to learn. We want to uh, get more information. We want, and but at the same time, we also want to uh, to to get new thing. You know, to explore the new thing also. In that sense, uh, for Thai people, I think that education becomes something that very important to them. They uh, and Blackmore have you know uh, pick up on that insight that uh, we do a lot of education to the Thai consumer, to the Thai pharmacist, and also to educate them about you know the product, the ingredient, the wellness. So, what consumer trends are you seeing in Thailand? Okay, in terms of um, the segment, I think that the healthy aging is uh, the most important segment. Uh, we have uh, many of the elderly people that uh, the statistics show that uh, this segment is become like the highest in Asia. Okay, and in terms of uh, the behavior, I think that Thailand is a country that quite addicted to the social and digital things. Uh, you know, Facebook, Line, and many, many, you know, social platform. So that is also the behavior of Thailand that, you know, go to uh, those digital world and, you know, uh, engage with uh, the digital, you know, uh, like social media things. Are Thai consumers price sensitive? Yes, it is. Because, you know, uh, when, pe when we shopping, and I think you, you will experience when you go to the market also, a lot of, you know, merchant and a lot of negotiation in the, in, in the, you know, in the marketplace. And that is uh, showing that Thai people like to negotiate, like to have, you know, the best price for the product that they buy. So it's quite price sensitive here. And also uh, it have, but, but the reality is that, you know, actually I think that they care for the value of the price that they pay for. So Blackmore have, you know, confirmed that, you know, our product is also bring the high quality and safety and that, you know, uh, the value that the Thai customer buy for Blackmore products. So you've been very successful in Thailand. What advice would you give to a foreign company who hasn't been here yet? Uh, to come into Thailand, my advice is first to understand the Thai culture, you know, that people here is really, you know, love to have uh, the, um, the communication that, you know, really attract them and uh, love to have the new idea, love to exchange the, the new things. But at the same time, Thai people is also very humble. We are not really, you know, very aggressive, really, you know, showing off so much. So I think uh, if the company can understand the Thai, culture, Thai people culture, that will be the first start that I will recommend. The second will be about the regulation, okay, that uh, doing business, we have to comply with all the regulation to really understand, you know, what the regulation that you have to uh, to deal with, I think that's very important. Maybe it's a little bit difficult for the foreigner, but I think that uh, most of the authority and government is willing to support on that. So don't be, you know, uh, shy to, you know, to get and to engage with them. Some foreign companies are put off by the political situation in Thailand, the volatility. What advice would you give them? Uh, if I would have the advice, I would say that come to Thailand, you know, and invest in Thailand. Thai people really, you know, love to have, you know, many investment here. And we really have, you know, uh, we want to support. It's not just only the consumer, but it's also the government and the authority also willing to support, you know, the things. So um, sometimes when we're talking about politicals, I think that it will not go away. You will, you will see that in every country, but that should not be any issue for Thailand. So whatever the political situation in Thailand, you would say it's business as usual for business and investment? Correct. I think it's a business as usual, you know.